Abu al qasim al-Zarawi is one of the most influential doctors in medical history. He provided the modern world with procedures and tools that have saved millions of lives. He is responsible for one of the oldest but most relevant books ever written, more relevant than most books that are read in high school all across the world. The only difference with him and other doctors that have made medical history is that he wrote this book around the year 1000. He is known as the father of medicine. This book is called al Tasrif, Translation, Method of Medicine. Inside this book is held hundreds upon hundreds of procedures that have saved lives. While Abu al qasim al-Zarawi is not given the credit for many of these, the fact that he wrote them down this early in history is amazing. Nothing to this degree had ever been done before. Along with these procedures, he drew tools that he had developed. These tools include forceps, catgut for stitches, and the lithotrite. This book was later translated into Latin so that it could be used worldwide. In the book al Tasrif, Abu al qasim al-Zarawi mentions many procedures that he had developed over time. The first ever method to fix a dislocated shoulder is mentioned here. Later it was deemed Cocker's method, and Dr. Theodore Cocker took it further. He created the first method to remove a bulbous ranula from the mouth a procedure that had never been done before. Abu al qasim Azarawi accurately described a surgical procedure to relieve migraines as well. Dr. Elliot Shevel later published this method and developed it further. He also accurately described tuberculosis of the spine. No one had ever done this before. It is now called Potts disease, named after Percival Pot. He also instructed and trained nurses and midwives. Florence Nightingale was heavily influenced by his teaching all the way in the 19th century, quite a time after Abu al qasim al-Zarawi lived. She is now known as the mother of nursing. One of his most well-known methods is what we now know as Walker's position, which is named after Dr. Walker Stuckart. This method is used when women are giving birth to this day. Also in the al Tasrif are the tools that Abu al qasim al-Zarawi developed. He developed the first ever lithotripe, which he called Kalali. Jean Savelle is credited for the invention and developed it further. He was also the first to develop the ever helpful forceps. Unfortunately, the Chamberlain family of surgeons were credited for this invention in 1569. He also used catgut for stitches and to wrap around medicine in order to make it easier to swallow. This is the first ever pill. Abu al qasim al zarawi also had the first ever description and use of an eye speculum. This was later patented by Pulliam Seeley on March 30, 1948. These methods and tools were developed way before anyone else anticipated. Abu al qasim al zarawi was a man ahead of his time and is not given enough credit for his discoveries. He is a legend among men and has saved millions of lives, but unfortunately, not many people even knew he existed. In 10th century Cordoba, there was this great uh, surgeon called Abul Qasim al Zahrawi, who has written a, a famous book which still is quite famous today, Al Tasrif, which is effectively an encyclopedia of surgical tools. In it, there are about 200 major surgical tools that are very clearly described. These are toothed forceps, which we can use to grab skin. Obviously the teeth aren't great for small blood vessels, they'll, they'll damage them. Uh, this little hook has a, a tiny hole in the top end of it, and if you imagine what we're trying to do is to hook underneath uh, a blood vessel. The, uh, the big changes have not been in the surgical instruments, but in the survival rate after surgery because of antibiotics. And whenever you're breaking skin and having to hold tissue apart, the instruments are pretty similar. The, the, the legacy of al Zahrawi is, after a thousand years, is still with us. We find the cat gut being used by almost every surgeon around the world. Abu al qasim al Zahrawi is a medical genius. He deserves much more credit than is given to him. He has given to the medical world what many could not, and he deserves to go down in history as one of the greatest medical phenomenons ever. <laughs>